What's up my pilots? Angry Poncho here. And this video is kind of special. It's the first of a new series I want to do. Basically, let me lay this down as quick as I can. First, I'm showing off the Pokemon I've got in my party, so be checking that out. Feel free to pause the video and look at them if you're that interested. But, uh, I'm playing through Pokemon Blaze Black, just for fun in my, uh, spare time between, you know, being a college student and making other videos and stuff. Uh, but I decided I wanted to get some video content out of this out of this playthrough because Blaze Black is such a, just such a cool realm. Basically, what it is it's a hacked version of Pokemon Black that puts all of the available Pokemon in one uh, version, and it also soups up the difficulty curve, making the game a lot harder. I think by the time you get to the Elite Four, everybody's got like level 75 Pokemon, so it's real. It gets real crazy about halfway through when stuff starts to really escalate. But uh. I didn't want to show the entire LP, or the entire playthrough, because it would be ridiculously long, and it's going to have a bit of grinding in it, I'm pretty sure, because the Pokemon difficulty curve has been increased. But uh, I did want to show the big, important battles, because I think the second half of Blaze Black might be interesting to, to do in a little bit more in-depth, because I never showed all that nonsense with the Seven Sages after you defeat Getsis. Uh, white, my ROM bugged out, and I wasn't able to do it. So here I'm going to show you for at least the first half, uh, we're going to see the, all the gym battles. And so the first one here, this is totally different in Blaze Black. Uh, when you, just like in Black, you go up against a trainer whose Pokemon are all of the type that is uh, dominant on your starter's type. So because I chose Oshawott as my starter, he's got all grass type Pokemon. And this guy's party is sublime, just awesome. He's got all five of the grass starters, uh, plus the monkey of the grass type. So he's got uh, Pan Sage. And yeah, just like uh, in black, any of any depending on which starter you choose changes the type. So if you chose grass, you'd have all five fire starters, plus the fire monkey. So pretty cool, actually. I really like this change. They gave you a rotation battle. And they gave the gym leader, the first gym leader you fight, six Pokemon. So right here from the start, they're slamming you with the difficulty. Just trying to make it just way out there. And I'm, I'm loving it. It's great. See, so yeah, out here we're watching the battle. This is pretty awesome, actually. I'm, I'm really enjoying this. All these Pokemon that I uh, have out here are not permanent. Uh, the, the four of them that I brought into the battle that I showed at the beginning, none of them are actually in my final party that I want to have. Ooh! Super effective. That Bulba's gonna be sore tomorrow. <laughs> uh, oh, I want to point something out about this Turtwig in a second. This is pretty. Uh, he's not gonna do it yet. Well, we'll watch that Turtwig. He's got a cool move he's gonna use later. But uh, what was I saying? Yeah, none of these four Pokemon I have in my party are actually the. Any, any of them are gonna be in my final party of six that I got planned. Uh, and if you. If you're liking me on Facebook, uh, you've already seen this pixel art I made in Minecraft of the six Pokemon I'm going to have when I get to the Elite Four. Uh, and none of them are these. But these four will suffice to defeat the Grass-type leader here. So, it's all good and well. Crazy thing, Blaze Black? Rattata learns Flame Wheel at level 10, and Flame Wheel got a buff in its power, I think. So it's 100% uh, accuracy, 75 fire damage, physical attack. Uh, which is wonderful for a Rattata going against a, uh, a gym leader and I, of grass types. And I think I missed it, actually. But you may have noticed Turtwig actually used Stealth Rock, which is a wonderful addition to Turtwig Arsenal. Uh, just, and it's awesome for this gym leader, because a grass type leader that has a Pokemon that knows Stealth Rock really should start the match with Stealth Rock, because then any uh, fire type, or I believe also uh, ice type, actually, that switches is it switches in. That's weak to rock. It's going to take, I believe, uh, at least 25% or maybe 50%. I'm not forget how the math goes, but a significant chunk of its health is going to be reduced by Stealth Rock when, upon switching in, and it's particularly a protection against the Fire type. So uh, yeah, that's pretty awesome. Grass Walk. If you don't know, if you're not into the like, competitive battling circuit. Grass Walk. Grass. Grass Rock is a com is a really popular uh, entry hazard to set up because it's a rock-type entry hazard. An entry hazard is a move that does damage whenever you switch a Pokémon out, or whenever you switch a new Pokémon in, really. So you'll notice here in a little bit, when I switch in Oshawott, it takes damage from the Stealth Rock. 
Uh, and basically, any time you have to switch a new Pokemon in, it takes damage. So it's a great and competitive battling because you get a f you get free damage right at the start every time they send out a Pokemon. And if they take them back and send them out again, they can take damage again. So it's awesome. And also, just great for this gym leader to even have that because it's going to do double damage against the fire type, which is what you're going to be bringing to this fight. Ah, and so now I'm trying to get Pansage some credit. I'm trying to get him to defeat his older brother over there, and Pansage is just getting the better of us here. Uh, I'm trying to use acrobatics. So I know it'll finish him off, and then he keeps protecting himself. And the one time he actually didn't protect himself and used bite, I accidentally put on scratch, and so I didn't get him. Uh, and then he kills us. So, oh well. Pansier wasn't cutting it. Doesn't really matter. Oshawott's the only one I'm gonna be hanging around until the second or third gym. And you see pointed stones looking to Oshawott. That's your, that's your stealth rock coming in. Just some crazy here. If you can't tell, this is all gonna be post commentary for these gyms because if I have to do it more than once, and I don't want to have to record the commentary more than once. This is the first try for this first one. Though. I think you can see it went pretty well. And Rattata finishes him off. So that is it for Leader Salon. First gym badge acquired. Uh, I hope you guys like this little uh, sort of mini series I'm gonna be doing here for the first half of Blaze Black. It's just gonna be probably the gym leaders and then maybe Anne gets us at the end. That would make sense. And we'll try and meet up with where White ended and hopefully continue where we left off.